Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Docker tutorial for beginners. In this video, we are going to see how we can download and install Docker on our Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. First of all, open your favorite browser and search for Docker. But before installing Docker desktop application on our Windows operating system, let's see what are the system requirements for installing this application. So before going to the docker.com website, I'm going to search on my browser install docker windows, which will open this link from docs.docker.com forward slash docker for windows. And this link I'm going to put in the description of the video also. So you can also see all the description here and from here you can uh, click this button which is going to redirect you to the downloads page but before that let's see what are the system requirements for downloading this application so as you can see here for installing docker on your windows operating system you need to have at least windows 10 64 bit pro enterprise or education version and hyper v and containers windows feature must be enabled and some other requirements are 64 bit processor with second level address translation 4 gb system ram and bios level hardware virtualization system must be enabled in bios setting so if you don't have windows 10 64 bit pro version or enterprise or education version then also you can install docker on your windows operating system but the procedure will be little different. So for that, you can go to suspended products and tools and then go to this tool, which is called Docker toolbox, which is now a legacy for legacy operating systems. So here you can just click on the install toolbox on windows button. I'm going to just open this link in the next tab. And here you can follow the procedure of installing uh, Docker toolbox on your other Windows operating system. For example, if you have Windows 10 home version or if you have Windows 8 or Windows 7, then you can uh, install Docker toolbox. So first of all, how to check which Windows 10 version you have if you have Windows 10 operating system running. So for that, what you can do is you can just right click on this Windows button and then click on Run and then just type WinVer, W-I-N-V-E-R and then click OK, which is going to open this kind of window and here you can find uh, the Windows 10 version you are running. So as you can see here, I'm running Windows 10 Pro version also the second requirement was so let's see the second requirement which is hyper v and containers windows features must be enabled so how to verify that so to check that the simple procedure is just right click on your toolbar windows toolbar and then click on task manager so once this task manager opens you just need to go to the performance section and then you need to verify this section which is called virtualization it needs to be enabled by default it is enabled on your windows 10 operating system so you don't need to do any extra thing unless you have manually disabled this feature so now i'm going to click this button which says download from docker hub and here you will see this web page first so first of all you need to create a docker id if you haven't already have a docker id you can just click on this sign up uh, link here which will open this kind of web page and here you can create your docker account which requires a docker id email address and password and you need to just agree these terms and conditions so once you have your docker id which i already have I'm going to sign into my Docker account, which is going to redirect me to this page, which is 
the downloads page and from here I can just download this docker desktop application for windows. Also if you have searched for docker and if you have opened this main website from uh, docker which is docker.com you can just click on get started and then click on download desktop for mac and windows which will also redirect you to the same page and you can see welcome my docker id is shown here so in order to download this desktop application you need to have your docker id you, and you need to log in to the docker website in order to download this executable file so let's just uh, click on this button which is going to start the download of this executable file i have already uh, downloaded this executable file so i'm going to cancel this installation and you can see on my downloads folder i already have this docker desktop installer which is around 856 megabytes so i'm going to just double click on this uh, executable file and i'm going to just uh, start the installation so i'm going to minimize this browser and you can see the installation has been started so the first window here is the configuration so i'm going to just uh, leave everything as default and then click ok which is going to unpack all the files the installation procedure is straightforward i guess you just need to click some buttons and docker will be installed out of the box and now you can see after a few seconds i can see this docker desktop icon on my desktop and you can see this message which says installation succeeded so i'm going to just uh, click close and log out button which will log me out of windows 10 operating system so i need to log in once again so now i have logged into my windows 10 operating system once again and immediately after logging into my windows 10 operating system i can see this window which says hyper v and container features are not enabled do you want to enable them for docker to be able to work properly i will say okay which is going to enable all these uh, features i thought they are already enabled somehow but according to docker it wants to enable them once again let's say and now i will click on this docker desktop icon from here which is going to start the docker desktop application and i can see uh, this message which is hyper v service vmm is not available if you have uh, enabled hyper v just restart your computer now so i'm going to restart my computer and i will then try to just start docker application once again so now i'm going to click on this docker icon once again and you will see on your toolbar here you can see docker is starting so it will take some time to start docker and i can see this message which says docker desktop is running so i can uh, open powershell and start hacking with docker or docker compose also when you click on this docker icon here you can see a bunch of options here for the documentation docker hub switch to windows containers and all other uh, settings here so one thing i will recommend here is to sign in with your docker credentials which you have already created and i'm going to sign in with my docker credentials and after signing in you will be able to see your docker id and the sign out option so let's get started with docker so first of all you can uh, start the command prompt i'm going to just type cmd which is going to show me this option which is uh, command prompt and here you can just type uh, docker hyphen version or hyphen uh, v will also work and you can see the version which we have installed now let's also check if docker is working with the docker hub perfectly fine or not to test this you can just run uh, docker run hello hyphen world okay so just run this command this is 
the most popular command to test uh, whether Docker is uh, running or not, or it's able to fetch all the images from Docker Hub or not. So I'm going to just run this command. And when I run this command, you can see this kind of output. So you can see on the first line, it says unable to find image, hello world, latest locally. So it didn't find this image locally. So it has pulled this image from the Docker Hub repository. So you can see in the next line, latest pulling from library hello world. And once the pull is complete, and you can see the status, downloaded the new image hello world, and then the latest version of hello world. And then it says hello from Docker. That means everything is working fine with your Docker, and it's able to run your Docker images and uh, this is the first docker image we have run which ran successfully few more commands i can uh, show you here for example you can also uh, say docker images and then press enter and you will see the list of all the images you have on your system so we have just downloaded this docker image which is hello world image so this is how you can download and install docker on your windows 10 operating system i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video